Hello everyone, this is Paul with Creerform, and in today's video we'll take a look at how to analyze corrosion using the freeform analysis of the surface damage module in VX Integrity. Now the reason we want to use freeform in this scenario is that we have curvature in multiple directions and so typically using just a pit gauge analysis may not work as correctly because the pit gauge might not sit appropriately. So when I'm working with scans with rough edges, I like to trim them up a bit so we get a nice cleaner result in the analysis section. So you'll see me doing this here. In this step, it's important to select as much as you can just the intact surface. So any high points or welds or corrosion or pits should not be selected. And the reason is that we're creating a reference surface and we want it to be as smooth as possible. So notice here I can reduce the selection a bit if I want to make sure I'm not capturing any of the rougher edges. And let's preview the surface now. Here I'm not too worried I'm seeing color on the edges because I'll be able to filter that out in the analysis step. Okay, so here I'll simply change the critical factor value to 1.5 and leave the rest as is. The color map is fully customizable. In this case, I'll just reset the default colors, but you could choose to even go to a continuous color map if need be. In this step, I want to add a maximum deviation of 1.5 in order to match the critical factor we set previously. And finally, in this step, I'm going to choose not to add a reference. There we go. So we have one feature identified. We can see the maximum deviation is around 3.4. And if we want to, we can go ahead and add a few uh, depth annotations for the report. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop us a like and consider subscribing to our Creaform channel. This was Paul, and I'll see you in the next video.